Hi. <laughs> I'm Maria and this is Sayyad Javeria. Yeah, Sayyad Javeria. I'm sorry, uh, my vi voice is somewhat blurred uh, due to cold. <coughs> I hope you can able to get me. I is it fine with you? I can hear you fine and I hope you get better soon. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay. And um, I want to ask the, the serious question right away. Yeah, sure. So when it comes to kids and mathematics, what yeah. are your dreams? Um, as other subjects, uh, uh, um, one uh, maths is also a, a compulsory subject, but it is uh, applied and implied in our day-to-day -day life. But uh, when it is a compulsory subject in uh, our academics, people, especially students, are a little bit scared of maths, and many are very com very much comfortable with that also. But uh, if they get a proper uh, methods and uh, tricks to solve that, they can able to uh, properly cope up with the mathematics. So I want to make uh, their view more uh, uh, positive towards mathematics, actually. Okay. Uh, the so method should be more simple and uh, besides that, uh, they, uh, there is no need that uh, there should be no need of mugging up the formulas and all. They should be easily solve the problems or anything related to maths. Okay, so so easy and um, uh, solving problems. What it's for then? So suppose we do that. What is mathematics all about for you? Mathematics is a. Uh, as I told you, it's a really in our day-to-day -day life. It is implied and applied everywhere, and uh, it's a compulsory thing in academics also. And uh, as career-wise, also it's compulsory. And uh, when we deal um, everywhere, maths is in our life actually. So uh. your dream of kids seeing it like this, seeing maths everywhere, right? Yeah, maths is everywhere. I want to say exactly that. Maths is everywhere and uh, they should not scare of maths, scared of maths. They should uh, imply maths everywhere and uh, directly or indirectly, it uh, affects their academics. So when we represent maths, it should be like, it should be fun for them. It should be like a game, like a puzzle. When anybody asks us a puzzle or a game, we are ever ready for that. Even kids are ready for that. It should be like that for them. Okay. So, so, so it's playful, but then it's useful, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And... Uh, when so when you work when you are with kids I hear I hear a young mathematician in the background. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So when when you are with kids, how do you go about this dream? What do you uh, do? Actually, I was actually a biological student till my tenth standard. When we need to take a specialized a specialization in either of the subjects, either maths or biological sciences. So I opted for mathematics because uh, the reason at that time was only that ke I got uh, a good marks. I was the topmost student uh, of my class to get the highest marks in mathematics. So I opted for mathematics then. Then uh, I was scared of few subjects actually uh, when, I, when I was growing up, uh, like probability, probabilities and all permutations and combinations. Then uh, I thought of a letter. I can do that. I can really conquer that subjects. I can do well in that. So then I proceeded and uh, so when I uh, came forward with the subjects and in graduation also I took mathematics. When I, then I was uh, teaching uh, as I was a tutor. I was teaching, giving tuitions for few students. So then I was more clear with the problems because they were also 
facing the same problem which I had. So I thought then that it should be like uh, the things should be so easy which I am facing they shouldn't face, and they should be a proper methods, and it should be represented uh, in a proper way that they should not face the problem which I had. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So, so, so how? then uh, with my academics i was good because i worked ha hard on my subject it was not that easy mm -hmm. mathematics was not that easy many a times uh, <laughs> uh, i tried a lot for uh, many problems and all uh, it was tough but uh, so i thought with this course maybe i can get a good methods to solve particular problems or to see a match in a really easy way. Okay. okay. So 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 you you think about particular methods and particular ways of solving as uh, to make it easier, right? Right. Mm -hmm. When I was uh, teaching, sorry to interview. Uh, when I was teaching trigonometry to one of my students, he was really scared of mathematics at that time. Uh, he used to mug up all the things uh, that uh, each quadrant uh, has certain uh, signs, certain uh, uh, degrees and all. So I gave him one method that all silver teacups, that is uh, in first quadrant all are plus, uh, all have positive sign in the second quadrant sign is positive and then teacups tan is positive then cup c cos is positive so i gave him one method so he was very happy with that method at least at one point he was uh, like happy to have that method he applied it and was able to remember it very well and solve problems related to, uh, related to that okay Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah. How, about, how about the play? How do I ch you achieve that? Uh, you say sorry. that it's, it should be... Oh, do you need to pause? Uh, do I need to? Uh, I, I just hear a baby. Do you, do you need a few minutes for the baby or is it something no, else? No, it's fine. Actually, okay. I have a four months baby. <laughs> I'm with him. So he's making noise. <laughs> Sorry okay. about that. Okay, no, no, it's good. I, I just uh, let me know if you need a break or. No, 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 sure. I can continue. <laughs> it's just playing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, happy, happy sounds. Okay, so um, uh, so um, um, how about m the play? How about you said uh, mathematics uh, can be fun and play? Uh, how do you do that? Uh, to be frank, even it should be play. I want it to be like uh, a game, but I don't have a proper idea about that. Uh, so uh, when I heard of this course, I thought maybe I can get few methods that should be really playful, because in simple methods like addition and subtraction, I can apply a, uh, playing games with my kid who is six year old. I can teach him the simple methods by playing, by using uh, toys and all. I can teach him addition, multiplication, okay. uh, subtraction and all. When, but when uh, the topics uh, are like a uh, little bit complicated, like algebra, trigonometry and all, mm -hmm. maybe other topics which are really a bit complicated in mathematics, I don't know how to apply it as a game or how it could be a fun. Mm -hmm. That um, I can um, make ch ch or uh, say children that it's a fun, it's a game. I can't attract them mm -hmm. by saying this kid, this is this will be fun. Come on, it's a subject. <laughs> the kid will think of certain age. No, it's not a game. It's a math. Again, it's a complication. I have to solve it. It's a problem. <laughs> the questions. Okay already come in mathematics as a problem only. It is first of all defined as a problem. So kids take it as a problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here is what we'll do towards this. It makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, so, uh, so, and I hope this course will help. 
So here's what to try to do. So this week there is a set of problems on okay. on the forum. Okay. And um until Sunday or so uh we are looking at the problems and um we are modifying the problems, changing them. So just okay. give it the best shot you can to see, okay, how can I do it with the kids so it makes sense, so it's easy, so it's fun. Well, your goals, what, what, what your, your dreams are. Okay. And then try it next week. Okay. And that's how our learning happens because we can discuss it with everybody. So if you have any questions as you plan, or if you are stuck, you can post the questions on the forum as well. Yeah. Uh, I have one question, actually. Mm -hmm. If I start uh, this problems, as it said, there is 10 questions or there are 10 problems, which I have to solve with the kids. The kids uh, should be of certain age or it sh it, they can be of any age? Okay, we have uh, so far we prepared levels for the problems, okay. so you can choose the level that suits okay. your your ages, That's good. The, the kids you have, but also you can change the problems and okay. other people will be changing the problems. So that's the whole kind of point of this course that we will adapt the problems. Okay. okay Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's good. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm really uh, happy to listen that it's uh, for uh, different age groups and I can opt accordingly. So for every problem, uh, I should continue with the same kit or uh, I can change the kits or different groups of uh, kits or first problem with some other kids, second problem with some other kids. You can do this or that. It's up to you. Because okay. I know that uh, some people will have friends over, for example, for a mass play date for one day, but not the next day. Okay. And some people want to try some of the problems with their older kids and other problems with younger kids okay. and so on. So problems are independent. Okay. And uh, some people will try to have the same problem in a group of children with different mm -hmm. ages. Okay. So that's another possibility. Mm -hmm. So, so we, I hope it's really open to these different possibilities. Okay. Mm, that's good. Uh, uh, inshallah. Let us see that. I'm eagerly waiting to have this problem. And uh, let's hope I should do it in a very uh, good, proper manner. Inshallah, I will proceed with that. Uh, I hope it works well for you. If you have any questions at any time, you have my Skype yeah. and email. And you can post on the forums for everybody to, to help too. So yeah. have a very good group of people there and people will help. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I am going to stop the recording. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was really nice talking to you.